R is a highly contagious viral disease that affects goats, sheep and other wild small ruminants. The disease is ranked as one of the most important transboundary livestock diseases, especially in Africa and the Middle East, and is associated with high morbidity and mortality rates in small ruminant herds. Two-thirds of the world's sheep and goat population are at risk of getting infected with the virus. With the estimated annual economic loss attributed to the disease being about 2 billion US dollars, the disease is a threat to food security and threatens livelihood of at least 300 million smallholder farmers globally. In Uganda, PPR was first reported in 2007 in the Karamoja region, but it has now spread beyond Karamoja into almost all parts of the country. The increased spread of the disease and the associated socio-economic impacts on the livestock keeping communities makes it a priority disease that requires more efforts being put on its surveillance and control. How PPR presents Animals suffering from PPR manifest a number of clinical signs almost similar to other diseases like OFF, CCPP or gastrointestinal helminthosis. To avoid misdiagnosis and wrong treatment, it is important to know the animal's vaccination status and confirm the diagnosis in the laboratory. But from what we look at here, we begin to see sores in the mouth of this, 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 this kid. For example, if you see here, there, 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 there is a scab here covering the whole of the upper lip of this, this, this kid. And then if you go further, depending on the severity of the disease, you'll find that the whole of this, this, this coat, the mouth is covered with, with sores. And some of those sores tend to, you, the key thing you'll see them trying to become yellowish. If you compare with other diseases, for example, if you talk of, of off, um, these scabs will be outside here, but inside this mouth, it won't be so sore. The scabs will only be outside, but inside it will be sore, tending to be yellow, which is what we call, what we sometimes call to be, in scientific terms, diplomatic. The disease quickly spreads through direct contact of animals or contaminated feed or water. We have raids. Goats and sheep are, are, are raided from one place to another. And in this, in this process, diseases are also uh, transmitted by uh, uh, goats that are raided from one point uh, to another. A point like this where animals come and meet, every farmer brings his animals here. So you don't know which farmer has brought the sick one. And on top of that, some farmers even have the sick ones in their heart, but they don't know that they're actually sick. So when these animals come here to drink, they, 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 the, the disease is contagious. So some animals come when they're healthy, but they go back with a disease and then we end up having a very high rate of infection and then of course also the pasture around here because now one, you, the nature of animals is after drinking they tend to, to, to feed around pick up some pasture around so still this pasture also gets contaminated with the, the aerosols, the saliva, the secretions and all the discharges and these are really having a very high load of the the virus. Some of the other factors facilitating the spread of PPR are driven by underlying issues like culture exchange of animals during marriage and the shrinking grazing land due to increase in population. In some parts of Uganda, prolonged droughts forced farmers to migrate in search of pasture and water and animal rustling. Trade is something which, which, which is also uh, a factor of, uh, of, of, uh, of spread of this disease. Goat that is sick, you end up finding that disease is easily spread. If, it, if one goat coughs, for example, or sneezes, or has a discharge from the nostrils and the eyes, it easily uh, would uh, get into contact with uh, another uh, goat in the same locality, and that's how PPR easily spreads. Our land tenure system is, is mainly communal uh, in, in nature, and uh, 
and just like it was in the past, animals are allowed to mix and mingle and share resources. And in this process, this is a recipe, the risk factor for disease transmission. Besides vaccination of ruminants, proper husbandry practices, routine surveillance by veterinary doctors, controlled migrations of animals, the farmers must note that PPR has no specific treatment apart from the symptomatic management. We should ensure that the moment any one of our animals comes down with a sign of any disease whatsoever, including PPR, you have to report this to the nearest veterinary authority. Then two, housing is very important. Look at the house in a way that it should not facilitate spread of PPR, in a way that should, be, should provide adequate space. Do not congest the goats or, or, and, and the sheep all in one house. At least if a goat can have a, a minimum of a square meter Spacing. We have a place for the kids. They don't spend the night with their mothers. They spend the night in their separate room. Then in the morning, that is when they are put together so that they can, uh, they can suckle their mothers. Why we do that is to minimize incidences of diseases and also cross contamination to the kids. Then aeration should be good, ventilation should be good in that house. The vets can guide you on this. Then three, watering animals. Much as it is good for, and it is cost effective for one to water animals in a way that they come together and consume the water, be observant and be mindful of PPR because PPR can be easily be spread through that water. If any one goat shows a sign of PPR, make sure you isolate that goat or sheep from there and discard that water source. Could be a trough or don't use it or clean it thoroughly and use a disinfectant. Then tread. There are SOPs which we have put in place, guidelines on treading. We don't allow animals to congregate. The congestion is what we should reduce as much as possible. Normally we vaccinate our goats against PPR and uh, we normally liaise with the veterinary office and uh, whenever there is a, a threat or an outbreak of a disease in the area, they notify us and we liaise with them they provide the vaccines and we vaccinate our goats. And also the deworming, we do deworming regularly. And that way our goats remain healthy. I train my herdsmen on early identification of the diseases on the goats. So when they notice that a goat is sick with the signs early enough, they will notify me immediately and that way we treat the goats early enough. Key to the ongoing interventions is the need for behavior change communication to help demystify some wrong perceptions among farmers about PPR and existence control measures and facilitate adoption of practices that minimize exposure of livestock to the disease. Uh, you can a mamma of all at all make you young along. The market peruba coparaiki peri. We grew up grazing communally. Our animals drank and grazed from common grounds, but they did not contract diseases. We even had our local herbs, but things have changed recently because of the new medicines introduced by the scientists. And then on top of that, even the farmers who get to know. They still take time. They try other things first. They try herbal, they try, they believe, ah, this one cannot be treated. And then they come and report to the, the professionals very late. Biosecurity measures are not normally followed in our community setup. In other words, uh, measures to reduce entry of disease onto a farm or onto a grazing area, watering source is uh, very, very difficult because of 
the land tenure system. With funding from the German Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development, International Livestock Research Institute, in collaboration with Veterinary San Frontiers German and Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industries and Fisheries, are implementing the program, boosting Uganda's investment in livestock development to address gaps in control of transboundary animal diseases like PPR and zoonosis in Uganda. We are improving PPR surveillance in the country by training key animal health personnel across the country on PPR surveillance and reporting using both conventional and alternative approaches like participatory disease search. We also continue to support outbreak investigations and rapid response across the country and sensitize farming communities on PPR control. This is contributing to improvement in knowledge, attitudes and practices among communities in regards to control and prevention of PPR and minimizing socio-economic impacts of the disease in the farming communities in Uganda. The project aims to support the national PPR control and eradication strategy by supporting development of a socio-economic framework to assess the impact of PPR interventions, updating the epidemiological status of PPR to allow assessment of control options basing on Uganda's context, and assessing and filing capacity development gaps in the implementation of the control strategy.